welcome back to my channel guys today i'm going to show you guys how to make this quick and easy panna cook crepe pancake whatever you call it in your country recipe if you're new here please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single recipe from me all the measurements will be available for you in the description box below so we're starting off with some flour in a bowl and to that i'm just going to be adding some baking powder and then i'm just gonna mix it so that i can distribute that baking powder into the flour next i'm going to crack two eggs and i'm going to be whisking those two along and then we're going to go ahead and start adding our liquids so i've just added some milk i've added some cooking oil and then i'm going to add our eggs and lastly i'll be adding some vanilla extract or vanilla essence just to give it a nice vanilla taste and then that is it we're going to give it a mix until our batter is nice and smooth without any lumps so you should continue mixing until yours looks nice and smooth almost similar to how mine is looking like right now okay so now we're done with the batter we're just going to create our cinnamon sugar mix so i'm starting off with some sugar and then to that i'm going to add some cinnamon so the ratio that i'm using here is three is to one so you'll have three times sugar of what you'll have of cinnamon i didn't add a full tablespoon of cinnamon as you guys saw because i know how powerful cinnamon is so i don't want it to be that overpowering so i've just mixed it up to make sure that it's evenly distributed now the next step will be to take a non-stick pan unfortunately for this recipe to be a success you do need a non-stick pan or you can go ahead and buy one of those um pancake specific pans and then what i did is i have sprayed some cooking spray i used the olive oil one but you can also use the butter flavored one which will turn out to be great and i'm just going to measure out the batter onto my skillet and just rotate it around just so that the batter can cover more surface area of the pan and basically you the more you do this and you need to do this very quickly unlike me who's doing it in small slow motion for illustration purposes but you need to do it quickly because it's quite a thin batter and it will cook very quickly so you will cook it on each side for around two to three minutes however the first pancake please don't let it wait for that long because it might end up burning so within a minute or so just flip it over and let it cook on the other side okay so you can see this is what the other side is looking like and then with a non-stick pan you can see it's quite easy for me to be flipping it around and moving it around in the pan so I'm gonna let that cook um, on the other side for another two minutes then I'm gonna put it on my um, what's this my serveware and then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that um, cinnamon and sugar a mixture and you would have noticed that my recipe does not have sugar in the batter and that's because I know I'm going to be adding a lot of sugar onto it when it's done cooking so when you take it out of your pot it is going to look like it's a bit um, what's this rigid but as you put it on a flat surface and you put the sugar on it it does become nice and soft and easy to work with so don't be discouraged if you notice that on your pancake mixture so I'm just going to continue doing this with all of them don't pay special attention to what the outer shapes look like you do want to try and make it as round as possible but you're never gonna get it to be exactly perfect if you don't have the um, pancake pan so don't stress yourself about that too much because you're just gonna roll it up and eat it anyway and it's absolutely delicious so this recipe um, does make between 10 to 15 little thin crepes or pancakes whatever you refer to them as and if you're gonna make yours a little bit thicker then you will obviously um, turn out to have much less than me but this is what it looks like when it's done I absolutely loved it I enjoyed every single one of these and I'm just gonna have mine with a little bit of honey sprinkled on top you can have yours with some ice cream you can have it with whatever you love to have pancakes with you can have it for breakfast you can have it for desserts as well you can also stack them and fill them in between with other um, nice fillings I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe and you're definitely going to try it out with your family don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here comment in the comment section like this video and i'll definitely see you guys next time bye